guys, it's me, your boy, Lord Triton, and today we'll be talking about how Stampy Cat fell off. Okay, so if y'all don't know who Stampy Cat is, first of all, you guys lived under a rock when you were kids. Second of all, um, he is a Minecraft YouTuber that made the series called Lovely, the Lovely World series. It blew up on YouTube, like, years ago. All the cool kids were watching it, so if you guys don't know who he is, you guys was not a cool kid growing up, because I know who he was. A lot of the cool kids knew who he was. And he he made great, like, role-playing Lovely World series. But what happened? Why did he fall off? Alright, so a lot of commentary channels, Wacky TV, Sunny V2, Pie Man, and etc. keep on making videos saying Stampy Cat has fallen. I actually agree with them. You know why? Because he has fallen. Like, if we go if we go look at his views right now, I'll just show you how bad his views are. Let's go see his views. Alright, so what Stampy Cat's channel, Stampy Longhead's channel, and let's see his views. 6.5k views in 58 minutes. Alright, well we're not gonna count that one because you know. Because, you know, it's like sometimes, you know, maybe videos don't perform well right away. Look, like, let's look, let's count this one. 122k views. Six days. Meaning the video's at its most, it's, it's almost at its maximum views. 39k views. 122k views. 82k views. 123k views. 149k views, 76k views, this is not the views he used to get, he used to get way more views than this, look at all these numbers, that's the first time in two months that it has even ever been above 100k, like above 200k, like he used to get 10 million views a video. Now we looked at his views. Now those, I would love to have those kind of views for my channel, but for his channel, he has 10 million subs. What is he doing getting 39k views and 122k views? He used to get tens and millions of views every single video in the old days. Now that I look at his channel, that is so disappointing. What has happened? Like, alright, so let me tell y'all what I think happened to his channel. So, like, his his prime time on YouTube, his well, he got the most views of his channel, well, his channel was, like, the most alive, was 2013 through 2015, in my opinion. Because he, that's where he got the most views, that's where he got, he was most talked about. He got a lot of views and attention. He was on mainstream, tell, let me, I don't know if he was on mainstream, but he was, like, had articles made on him. He was, like, the Mr. Beast of Minecraft all those times. But, after 2015, that's when he started declining. Around 2015, around that time, 2016, that's when people started losing interest in Minecraft. People stopped losing interest, the audience growing up, a lot of Minecraft channels started dying. But then, you know, but then in 2019, Minecraft came back, and then PewDiePie even made videos on Minecraft, and Dream is making videos. Now, everyone's making videos on Minecraft. So why didn't Stampy come back? Like, when all the all the other Minecraft channels managed to come back, why is Stampy still struggling to this day? Why is he? Why didn't he come back like Dream did? Why, why didn't he come back like the other guys did? Why is he still in the trash dump of YouTube? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you what I think. It's because, well, first thing is, this is probably the biggest reason. Stampy's audience grown up, all right? They've grown up. I've grown up. I was his audience. A lot of his audience are my, around my age. I am 
I am in my teens. I am almost 18. A lot of people are almost 18 as well. Like, a lot of people, a lot of probably some of his audience are already 18. Maybe some of his audience already have families. A lot of, a lot of them grown up. A lot of them have grown up. But why aren't new kids coming? Because there's still kids around. Like, there's a ton of kids around today. Why aren't the new kids watching his channels? Well, it's because he keeps on doing the same content that he keeps doing. He keeps doing the Lovely World series, and so it's just like the new generation of kids don't really like the Lo Lovely World series. I know that sucks, because I used to love the World Lovely World series as a kid. A lot of us did, but the new generation of kids, they don't really like that stuff. They're like more into Fortnite or the more into like other stuff. Not into like the whole Lovely World Roleplay series anymore. And also, another reason, this is probably the biggest reason why new kids aren't watching this channel because... 28, around 2018, Stampy Cat, which a lot of these channels surprisingly haven't talked about this. I remember 2018, Stampy Cat got exposed for cheating. That's probably why a lot of, like, a lot of loyal fans, even, like, that were watching just to support the channel, left. And that's what probably why new kids aren't coming either, because Stampy is now known as a cheater. Because he got exposed big time for cheating. Because he made a video, um, he uploaded the wrong video, and it showed him going to creative, going to host privileges, and it basically showed the real, the real truth of Stampy Cat that he went, he goes to creative during his videos, and he builds his stuff illegitimately. Which I don't have a problem with someone making a role play series and using creative. What I do have a problem with is how he did it. He literally tried to make it as legitimate when it wasn't. He lied to people saying, oh, it's survival when it actually wasn't. That's the thing. He lied about it. That's what makes it. That's probably why a lot of people are mad because he had to, he lied about it. And a lot of people looked up to him, tried to build the stuff he built, but he didn't build it legitimately. He used creative and host privileges to make himself feel good and look good. And that is very scummy. I do not like people that do that just lied to the, to, to the fan base like that. That's probably why a lot of new people haven't been watching. Now, will Stampy ever get, gain relevancy again? Probably not. Probably not. And also, probably another reason too why people stopped watching Stampy because I remember he was like, he did like go on like a pause a little bit from the Lovely World series started doing like other content that a lot of people didn't like so a lot of people left this channel maybe that's what why people left as well there could be many reasons why people left but I'm just I, I think the reasons I said though that they are the reasons why people left but the main reason is they grow up and Sampy's a cheater too so that's why the loyal fan base that refused to grow up left because they don't like cheaters and the really, 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 really loyal fan base are still there. That's that's only like a hundred k people out of ten million people. Like Stampy's channel is dead. It's dead. It's dead, and there's probably nothing he can do to revive it, which sucks. But yeah, that's just that's just it. There's this channel now. His channel's not what it used to be. Now let me know down below, what made you guys stop watching Stampy? Let me know in the comment section down below. I really want to know what you guys think. Like, what made you guys stop watching Stampy? If you still watch Stampy, let me know why you still watch him. I mean, it's been me, your boy Triton. I am signing out. Make sure you hit a like, the like button if you like this video. If you dislike it, well, you cannot dislike it because YouTube took away the dislike button. So, like the video anyways. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. It's been me, your boy Triton. I am signing out. Peace.